Hey, good morning. Life has gotten so busy. Um, we're reading Luke's sketchbook. Yesterday we read about asking, seeking, and knocking. If, if you're a persistent prayer, God's going to listen to you. So keep praying. God hears you. Um, what, what neighbor is going to, if an, somebody comes to him at midnight and says, give me three loaves of bread, please. I have somebody visiting. I don't have any food. Then finally this sleepy friend's going to wake up and give him the food. Thanks. Persistent friend. So you got to ask, seek, and knock. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. And that's a song. Ask, seek, find. We used to sit in the seventies. They had. I saw. Remember, as a child, the, uh, there was a big billboard, and it said, "I found it. I found it." So, ask and seek, and you shall find. We often say, "If you have a seeking heart, God will answer you." Be searching. Always looking for who. If you ask for a fish, who's going to give you a snake? Or if you ask for an egg. Who's going to give you a scorpion? So God, if you're evil or human, you know how to give good gifts. What what God's going to give you, how much more will your Father in Heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? So I guess we're asking for Holy Spirit. God will give us above and beyond. Um, so somebody said, you're working with the devil the Lord of the Flies, or Lord of the Fleas, I guess. By Beelzebub, the Prince of Demons is driving out demons. And he's, uh, Jesus said, well, house divided can't stand. Satan divided can't stand. I had to Google this yesterday about um, casting out demons. So be sure to research and Google as well. Uh, casting out demons... He who is not with me is against me. He who does not gather with me scatters. I read too much yesterday. So if a demon is cast out and then he comes back and he goes, he has 10 more demons with him. He's worse than the first state when he just had one demon. So when I Googled it, it said, you need to fill up with Jesus. You can't, don't let the devils come in. And then... A uh, voice called, a woman called out to him and said, Blessed is the womb that bore your, you and the breast which nursed you. And Jesus, in a nice way, it, when I Googled it, it said, He respectfully said, More than that, blessed are those that hear the word of God and keep it. Luke sixteen thirty three. No one, when he has lit a lamp, puts it in a secret place or under a basket, but on a lampstand, that those who come in may see the light. So you, you have a light, just like Jesus is our light. We don't put it under a lampstand or under a basket. I mean, in a, we don't put it in a secret place or under a basket. We put it on a lampstand. Everybody can look at the light. Wow, look at the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body is also full of light. But when your eye is bad, Luke 11.34 but when your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Therefore, take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. What is in me? Is it light or darkness? In inspect yourself. Reflect on yourself and your life and what's going on. Do you need to get closer to Jesus? And re or repent of some sins? I know I did that. I've been mad, mad, mad. And I needed to change and say, God... Help me, you know, I don't want to be mad all the time. If then your whole body, and I do feel better. I hope I'm not mad today. I'm not mad at you. I forgive you. <laughs> if then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, the whole body will be full of light. So, okay, this might be I. If your then your whole eye is full of light, having no part dark the whole body will be full of light so sorry about that if i nothing will be dark and sorry about that if i got it wrong as when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light 
So be, turn on for the Lord, be a bright light today for him. And we'll talk about Pharisees tomorrow. Have a good blessed day.